Hey everybody, it's Captain323 here, and today I'm going to be talking about codecs, more specifically Windows Movie Maker codecs. If you have a camera that shoots in high definition, 9 times out of 10, it's either going to be in a .mov or a .mpeg file. Uh, possibly a .mp4, but those are mostly for iPhones. Um, but most of the time, it's going to be in a MOV. Now, as you can see, it will appear as a QuickTime file. You can see the little QuickTime next to that. I actually have a quite an old version of QuickTime installed that came with my video uh, video editing program called Adobe Premiere, but it doesn't really matter. Um, as you can see, the little QuickTime, it says item type QuickTime movie um, right there. And if you use Windows Movie Maker, like I do, to edit your videos, you can make very professional videos with Movie Maker. But this is what Movie Maker looks like. I'm just going to shrink it down a little bit. Uh, and you try to import them into Movie Maker. First of all, if you click Import Media, and you go to your desktop, oh, it already is on the desktop, you're not going to be able to see anything on the desktop. You can see. Where's the movie? It says All Media Files. That should be a media file. But if you click All Files, whoop, there it is. Oh, let's import it. Import. It doesn't work. It says, see users, insert your name here, desktop, MVI, blah, 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 dot MOV could not be imported. This is because Windows Movie Maker will not import dot MOV files. It does not come with something called a codec, which basically allows it to read it. Uh, a quick description of that or analogy is you can't read a language, and a codec is teaching it how to read a language. So uh, we're going to go ahead and download this one. It's called K-Lite Codec Pack. And you can download it here at the link in the description. K-Lite Codec Pack. Uh, it's free from FileHippo.com. I'll put a link to its download in the description of the video. And so basically, all we want to do is double-click this and click Run. Yes. And it says K-Lite Codec Pack 9.8.0 full. So we're going to click Next. And uh gonna click advanced mode. Um go through this. Yes. Uh next, 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 next. Uh you don't want to install that, but you want to click Windows Media Player. Next, 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 next. And click no thanks. I don't want any of the above. Those are just um what is it? Toolbars, you don't want them. Next, install. It should go incredibly fast. You don't have to ins reinstall your computer. Re re reinstall, restart your computer. Click registering files, and it is done. Just wait a sec. Just read that. So just finish and notice something. Just going to close that out. Uh, this is K-Lite Codec Pack, right there. Now what you're going to be able to do is open up Windows Movie Maker, and this should be able to drag in. And there it is. And that is how to put .mov files into your Windows Movie Maker.